Okay, we're back again and forgot to do something, so I'm going to do that right now. And that's to add that, and this is the bridge, not the temple, to add that uh, top piece across. top of the glasses. Just like that. Okay. Oops, sorry. Now what I want to do now is uh, let me see if I can do that with my little file. File down that point. nice little glasses. Okay, now on with the next part. The next part. Get that out of the way. Get this stuff out of the way. Now, the next step. Oh, I only got my pad to work on. Well, we you know it. <laughs> This is what we're after right here, okay? Those are the sunglasses I'm talking about. All right? There's a picture on the blog if you go down a couple of pages. All right, now, next part. Oh, here's the carving I'm just in the process of doing for a friend. This is the OSU uh, mascot, Pistol Pete. Kind of a mean looking dude. And just needs to be varnished and put together. Okay, so next part. Find you some cardstock. This is not really cardstock, it's just stiff paper. But this, this is just a piece of uh, file folder. If you don't have this, use a old greeting card. Doesn't matter if it has lettering on it or anything. You want something that's stiff, and this has a rough surface. You don't want something that's real slick. I call it clay finish paper. You don't want that. So anyway, we don't. We just want to cut us a little piece of this, just like that. I got my scissors up here. Well, now that I've got my seat again. Got up off the floor. Okay, get you a toothpick, something to hold this down flat. What we're going to do now is glue this to the uh, paper with some super glue. Okay, and just use your toothpick to hold that frame down next to the uh, paper and just let it flow out like that. It'll just wick itself out next to the paper, just like that. And if you've got some accelerator, just give it a squirt. And that'll just speed things up a little. That should do it, I hope. It didn't naturally. Let's try it again. Okay, now we're going to do the same over here. Spray. That's spraying. Way to hell over on the other side. Why did you just spray? Well, I was trying to get some of that accelerant on the paper. Mm. Like I 
can see it'll just crawl right around underneath that uh, wire. See the little space? We want to get rid of that, so we're going to hold that down there. Yeah, okay, right down. And we're going to place a drop there. Like that. Give it a little squirt. And I see it came loose from the other side. I'll tell you, you can't win for losing around here. Like I say, this takes a little while, so you just have to take your time. This side's held down, so I'm going to go ahead and put a drop right there. Big drop. Going to help that along. Maybe that's a secret. Maybe we just need a bigger drop. Quiet. <laughs> going off. All right, now where are we over here? Oh yeah, we're gonna glue this again. Sit here and wait. Now it looks like it's done, but I'm just going to squirt it, make sure that it gets done. Okay. Get you an old uh, mat knife. And carve off as much of that paper as you can. Don't try to get it right up next to the wire. That's not necessary. Like I said, just get as much as you can. This is just getting old again. And the neighbors over there are mowing rocks again. You go see a mower about once a year. No. See where it busted free right there. Put that down. So you know, if we'd gotten our frame perfectly flat, this what's happening here it wouldn't be happening because of, it would have laid perfectly flat against that paper and we wouldn't have this problem. I'll let that set just a little bit before the next step. Okay, this time we're going to use our use a pyrotechnic pen here. 
and uh, what you do. Remember, this is super glue. And one thing you don't want to do, and I mean this in all serious, do not breathe the smoke of this stuff as you're doing this, okay? Because it'll knock you flat on your butt. I don't know what's in it, but man, it, it works. But with your pen, just go in there and just follow right along. With your pen. Just hold it out away from you as you're doing this and you won't have any trouble. Just don't stand there and do it like this. Or you'll get old real quick like me. There we go. So, now we've got our two lenses in there. Alright, so what I want to do now is with some uh, sandpaper, I want to sand these edges off smooth. I don't want this real rough, rough looking stuff. So, I'm going to do that right now. So, I'm just going to go along the edge like this and just sand this smooth. Just sand it in one direction so you don't come back against the paper and that way you won't have to worry about it coming loose. There you go. Now there's your frame with the lenses. Okay? Now, for the next step. It's over. Oops, there's one spot. Just feel around that. I'm going to sand that bridge just a little more. It's just bare wire. Huh? this off because that is just a piece of wire like that okay Looks good. Alrighty. Now, what I'm going to do now. Okay. We did this. Now, I took this over to the paint table 
and I've painted the back side black, okay? Because this will uh, stop any reflection from this stuff uh, from the face onto the glass, and you just want it black. That way, uh, you'll get a better result, okay? The picture in here is not going to be black, but we're just paint painting that black. Now I'm going to lay this up here, and I have some gold spray paint here. I don't know if you saw that. Just gold spray paint. It's clogged up. Looks good. Now we'll just let that dry. Okay, and uh, that will be it for this video segment. And in the next segment, what we'll do is uh, we'll paint the design on the inside of the lens that we want. Okay. So until then, I'll talk to you later.